Our first full day in Florida, we decided to start off by taking a walk. A four and a half mile walk. This was a good way to acclimate because after I made peace with being sweaty 100% of the time, the rest of the week was fine. But while I somewhat got used to the heat, I did not get used to the plants. Here's Spence and I talking about it later in the week. <laughs> That's something that we kept noticing. So we're just fascinated with the flora and the fauna, mostly the flora. There's a palm tree right there and it looks super weird. I mean, none of the plants look the same. The grass, maybe. That's probably a different species, too. The only plants that I recognize are ones that I would sell at Lowe's <laughs> as indoor <laughs> potted plants to old ladies. Uh, we found some sparkle turkeys. Oh my god. I mean, they could also be <laughs> rave turkeys and or rainbow turkeys, but we're pretty sure they're sparkle turkeys. Sparkle, sparkle turkeys? Seriously, there were peacocks everywhere, just walking around, in people's yards, not scared of anything. The lizards, which were also everywhere, were generally pretty scared, but I managed to get a close-up of this little guy before he ran away. Our walk's destination was the beach. I wanted to put my toes in the water. My ocean experience has all been in Maine, and ocean means frigid water no matter what time of year. Per expectations, it was really weird to feel warm ocean water. Really weird. On our way back, we noticed that we were being watched. I don't know. What do you, you want to do? do? Now don't start that again. And Spencer tried to collect some provisions. Then that afternoon, we went to meet my new YouTube friends, Nick and Sammy, of the channel Fresh Brownies, to film a video with them. The park they picked for filming was beautiful, and Spencer and I got there early and looked at more weird plants, like this one that has strange acorns but doesn't look like any oak I've ever seen. Also, there was a pretty bridge that apparently goes over nothing. The bridge had more lizards. Nick and Sammy arrived, told me the script for their video, and started filming in a matter of minutes, which was great for my acting ability. The skit, which I'll link to when it's up, involved sweaters. They had several of what they called sweaters. They were not, in fact, sweaters. This is a sweater. This is a sweater. This is a, well, basically a blanket. But the point is that that is a long sleeve shirt. They were really, really nice, and we got to hang out afterwards a little bit. I'd honestly thought that I'd be 100% fine, but shyness like from when I was younger attacked me out of nowhere, and I was not as talkative as I would have liked. Nick and Sammy, thank you so much, and I did have the best time ever. After we parted ways, Spence and I went to find a movie theater closer to where we were staying. Hi. It's a belly. Yep. It's a me. It's, it's a, a road. And it's green. The what? what? I mean, the, oh, the light. The light. The road is not green. <laughs> Bailey, we're going to Disney tomorrow? Oh, but first! First we're going to see Kubo and the Shoestrings. We're going to go see Kubo because it's actually playing here. How big it is! It's huge! Kubo is not playing anymore where I live, but it's playing here! <laughs> this, this mall is just like it's a fountain. It just, it just it keeps going. Like it just keeps like This is literally, probably going. literally the size of some towns in Maine. <laughs> Accurate. Kubo and the Two Strings was amazing, highly recommended. It affected me emotionally. Without spoiling it, I was impressed with how they made it both happy and tragic at the same time. And then we headed back to our room after a very full day. Magical palm trees everywhere. Magical palm trees in my hair. No? Yes. I hope you were recording for that. Yes, you were. God damn it. <laughs> 